What is going on? Here we are again. Detailed drawings on the moments. As you see on this one here, we had the overhead. And then on the top, these are all the different details. I'm concentrating on moments. Flats, you got your overheads. Typical flat. Back to the calm splices. But the key to the calm splices are when they get plumb, you still got to get the port of power and jack them. I'm telling you, not easy. But uh, it's pretty cool. So we're on the sixth floor here. I had my gang pretty much established. I had everybody in place. You can see. I had my son running the outside. Taking care of these. They were 24 inch. Right here. These are the cantilevers. I had my cantilever gang. We crushed the cantilevers. Now. But these drawings are important, like I said before in the last video. You gotta study them. Have your game plan. Have your men in the right place. Because everybody has their own flavor. Some are good at columns. You know, like I say, chuck and pork chop. They killed it, man. These guys were aces. You know. Everything's dated. Tight schedule. That's on the fifth floor. I have my tower crane tie-ins. My son... Me and him worked on that. I had to educate him, and now he's, um, he kills it. He's working for Berlin, and, uh, this is pretty much it. You know, like I say, you gotta really look at the details. So basically, the fifth and sixth floor, I did it all at 680 moments. That's top and bottom. And uh, we did really good. And the main thing is, is uh, these guys running the flux core, they better learn how to air arc because they have to cut their stuff out. But pretty much, I, I sacrificed my son, and he, whoever failed, my son air arced. Because he's really good at it, and he's fast. So here's my uh, foreman safety meeting. As you can see, the foreman, and then these are my men. These are the dates every day. And they're all my men. These guys were hand-picked. And my next time, I'll show you the, uh, I called it the football. Glock here, he took care of all my pipe welding. The guy was freaking awesome. I designed a pick system in 1996. And uh, I applied it to this job and... Not using beam chairs. I call it the Godfather. And the Godfather crushed this contract. 
and uh, pretty much a lot of the men still use it today and uh, really I got, you guys just gotta really concentrate on the drones and if you guys ever wanted to know like, how do you guys get that welding shanty it's a Connex box so this is Cornell who I work for okay and as you see on the details these were the lugs that my son up here with a 25 ton shackle as you see he welded it to the face of column and we hung it let me let me spin it around like that so it's pretty much it man raising gang just did all the work we prepped it hung it and you can see on the details of what they wanted all the way around cornell's no joke they're one of the best. And, uh, pretty much it. Just wanted to give you that and just show you. You know, anything's possible. Like I said, you young guys and ladies, always, uh, get to know your foreman real well. Work hard for him, and, uh, he'll teach you a lot of tricks. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to give back. I've been in this game a long time. And uh, study your drawings. Someday you'll be a successful welding foreman in whatever you do. And uh, have fun at it. And respect the men that work for you. Because they make everything possible. Like anything else. What you give is what you get. And uh, I'm out of here, man. You guys have, like, my glasses. I'm an old head. You have a great night, and uh, I hope you liked the video. And God bless America. Later.